Hello there. Today I'm going to talk to you about getting your finder scope aligned on your telescope. Anybody who's ever bought a telescope, uh, one of the first things you'll notice is if your finder scope is not aligned, you'll see Jupiter right there in the sky and you'll be looking at it and you'll be trying to see it and you won't be able to see it. Why? Because your finder scope is not aligned. Uh, so let's take care of that. Uh, let me show you how to do it. Um, for the display, uh, for the example, I'm using a, a Newtonian-based telescope, but pretty much this will work for any telescope uh, with some slight variation here and there. Uh, so, uh, let's take it out. Okay. Now, in my case, here is the finder scope, and here is where I'm going to put my eyepiece, right? And so the way that we're going to align the finder scope is, is we're going to find something really easy in the daytime when we can see. You know what really works good for this is the moon. Uh, today it's raining where I'm at. It's a cloudy day. So there's a flagpole off in the distance. And I'm going to use, a, I'm just looking out the window, I'm not going to go outside. I'm just going to use, a, I'm just going to try to use a flagpole. And uh, let's grab yourself a a eyepiece I recommend grabbing whatever eyepiece you're probably going to use like when you're observing depending on what you want to observe that may be like a wide eyepiece like if you're looking at the Andromeda galaxy or something or it may be uh, you know a really zoomed in you know narrow eyepiece if you want to see some details on the planet Mars or something right um, I got the best of both worlds I got one of these batter zoom eyepieces they're a little pricey 300 bucks but it comes with uh, a 24 millimeter, a 20 millimeter. Uh, you can't really see it because it's backwards. 16, 12, and 8. And you turn it and, you know, you can, without changing eyepieces, you can zoom in and out on your object. It's German quality optics. Yeah, it's 300. But if you figure a cheap eyepiece is, what, 100, right? And you're probably going to buy three or something, at least two, right? So you may as well just get this one and be, and be all set. Uh, there's people online who disagree with me, but why? I mean, I guess if you're made of money, go buy yourself 50 eyepieces. But, you know, pay the extra, pay the 300, get the only eyepiece you'll ever need. Uh, zoom eyepiece from Banner. This thing rules. Anyway, um, so I'm going to start hooking stuff up here real quick. I guess as you probably, hopefully, have figured this out. Obviously, it varies from telescope to telescope. have to figure out how to hook up your own stuff in your telescope. Alright. Okay. So, let me get this baby into a position so I can see this little flagpole. I'm going to try to find it in my finder scope first. really low. I don't usually go this low. Yeah, you know what? It's too low, in fact. So instead, I'm going to change. I'm going to use the top of this tree branch. I'm going to put it right in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to use the top of this tree branch. Let me see if I can get you to see. Okay, so... Now, if you uh, look inside my uh, little finder piece, you'll see my, it's hard to tell, but my little uh, X is focused on that top of the tree branch, right? I'm going to put it right in the middle, okay? Now, we're going to go look inside what we got in the viewer, okay? Or what we got in the eyepiece, rather. Now, it's out of focus. Let me pause here while I get it. Now, in this case, because it's a closer object, I'm not able to get it perfectly in focus. Now, I'm not, okay, now it's right in the middle when I'm looking at it. Now, where is it on the finder piece? Oh, right in the middle. Now, if it wasn't right in the middle, let's say it was a little bit off um, to the left side. Let's say it was a little off to the left side or so, right? Well, then in my case, see, I've got these little screw adjustments, which I'm not going to touch because my guy's already in line, these little screw adjustments here, okay? You turn it this way, it goes up. You turn it that way, it goes down, okay? 
or on the other one, uh, you know, you turn it left or you turn it right, you know, and then it goes left or right. So you basically, you just find, let's say, the top of a tree branch, the top of a pole, boom, you find it in your eyepiece, right? And then after you get it perfectly centered in your eyepiece, then you go get it perfectly centered in your finder piece. And then when the nighttime comes and the clouds go away and cool stuff starts coming out, you'll have a much easier time finding it. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.